Another kind of statistical chart is called a Pareto chart. It was introduced in Excel 2018. I've heard it pronounced a number of different ways. I think that's the most common way. We've got data in columns A, B, and C that actually calculate the cumulative percentage based on sales. So these numbers in column B here are in descending order. Prior to the introduction of the Pareto chart, you would have come up with this kind of calculation. It's not terribly difficult, but let's just say what we're showing here is the kind of counting just these two states. That's 57% of our states. Counting these three, that's 73%, and so on. Now we've got the same kind of data to the right without that calculation. With a Pareto chart, we can come up with that information and show it in a combination kind of chart that shows both column and line. Notice that the data here is not sorted by sales. We don't need to write any formulas, we'll simply click within it, and on the Insert tab off to the right in the charts, the statistical charts, we see them right here. It's easily overlooked. We don't see the word Pareto unless it, we slide it to the right. There it is. We see that the description showed the relative portion for each factor. We're also seeing the chart down below too. And it, in effect, has the background sorted the data in descending order by sales to give us these cumulative totals that we're looking for here. So it's relatively easy to create. Now, getting back to this idea, if we had highlighted the data like this and pressed Alt plus F1 to create a chart quickly, If we're trying to convert a chart into Pareto, as we go to change chart type, we do not see Pareto here. But if we click histogram, we'll see it here. We don't want that one, but the other one, there it is. So in a certain sense, you've got to go looking for it or fight to find it. And there's that preview that we would want if we were switching from a column chart to a Pareto chart here. Click OK. So it's a valuable chart for showing us what's happened here. And we can see it by looking at the percentages over on the right side that counting just California taxes in Florida, that's about 75% of our sales. Now that is confirmed by what we're seeing over in column C, but we didn't need to have that data there present at all. So I think you can see it has a valuable role to play in analyzing sales type data as we're seeing in the example here.